Hello and welcome back folks. Today's video is going to be super quick. My goal is to complete this in less than five minutes. What we are going to do today? We are going to update our project from Angular 12 to Angular 13. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. And believe me, it's very simple. That's why I say my goal is to complete it in less than five minutes. The date would take, I think, one or one and a half minute itself. It's just how I explain and everything. So five minutes for that. Now, before you update your project to Angular 13, you need to understand what Angular 13 brings. So this is the video that you can go and have a look at the Angular v13 release explained. Actually, we released this video on our YouTube channel like on November 9. And this covers everything from Angular updates to breaking changes, etc. So go ahead, go to our channel and see this video. It is very informational and you will definitely not regret it. And you will definitely learn something new because these updates are new. So I'm assuming you, you will learn something new automatically. Well, anyways, once you have done that, then what I would want you to do is go to your Angular project. Right now, this is the Angular project. And in case you're new to our channel and don't know where this project came from, well, you're in here for a treat because if you go to our channel, we have an Angular Live course, as you can see here, and we go live every week and we are building a project from scratch. And the reason we are doing it live is so that you can see all the errors that can come into the real world project. You can see all how things, how we update things. For example, today, this is the, this is our project, but today I'm not going to build anything. I'm just going to update it because in real world scenario, you need to do those things. And last but not the least, when I, when I'm stuck, it's not, it will not be a polished video where everything works. When I'm stuck, I will search for things online in front of you so that you can also learn from me how to Google search and how to debug your applications and find solutions. So that is the goal. That is why we're doing it live. That is why we're putting ourselves on the spot. And now going back to the Angular code, Angular project. So let's stop this. Let me increase the size. Let me know if uh, the size of the text is big enough or not. The first thing we need to do is we need to run ng update. Now, doesn't matter if your project is in Angular 12, 11, 10, doesn't really matter. ng update will help you update your project in the way it is supposed to update. So for example, let's say you're on Angular version 10, you should not jump to 12 or 13. You should only go to 11. That is what Angular recommends. So you should not make jumps from major from one major version to another. Uh, you can just do 12 to 13, 13 to 14, but not 12 to 14. Uh, I hope you understand what I mean. And now it says we need to update four things under CDK, CLI, code, and material. Now there are multiple ways to do this, but my favorite is just write ng update after this. And then first of all, copy CLI. Then I'll just copy all of them one by one. So either you can do all of them separately or you can do all of them together. Now, because I have, sure, this slash will make a video on view three as well, for sure. Uh, why not? But Angular is still better than React and Vue. <laughs> Anyways, coming back, uh, ng update Angular CLI, Angular Core, Angular CDK, and Angular Material. And now, this is optional, but I like to add a flag minus capital C. What that means is basically that this is a Git project that I'm using, and I want Angular to generate automatic commits. So let's see what happens. I'll do minus C. And in a few minutes or seconds, depending on how long it takes, the Angular project should be updated. And we will rerun it once it, ups when it updates. And we'll see if it made any changes. And we'll see also the commits that it make. So package successfully updated, found dependencies, updating package.json. This should take a couple more uh, seconds, I think, from it should take 10 to 15 seconds, and then you'll see what changes did it make. And I really like the minus C tag, and I like to update all of them at once because there's no point updating one package and then waiting for 30 seconds, then updating the second one, and then committing one by one. I just allow Angular to do the magic because I'm sure developers at Google are much better than I am. Let's see. Once I do the commits, And one thing is very interesting that Angular 13 release removed the support for Internet Explorer. 
So if you or your clients were dependent on Internet Explorer, I highly recommend you to tell them to stop using it. Or if you really want to stick to Internet Explorer, which is used by less than 1% of the world's population, well, don't update to Angular 13. That is the only scenario when I would not recommend you to update. Anyways, now let's see what changes did it make. It says it, it updated the package.json. Perfect. Remove polyfills required for Internet Explorer, which is no longer supported. So that's great. No more polyfills for Internet Explorer. That, therefore, your project is more efficient because it doesn't need to uh, compile for IE. Then no longer valid schematic options. Remove from Angular JSON. Remove deprecated options. Remove updating Git node to add Angular cache. Yes, Angular added cache for version 13, which will help you and me as a developer to build faster, hence making our customers happier. If the developer is happy, customer is happy. Like happy wife, happy life, happy developer, happy website. Anyways, so let's see what commits did it make. So it updated the packages. It did, it dropped IE polyfills, as you can see. This is the GitHub project where I've just updated. Updated git ignore, added Angular cache to git ignore and changes in some test bed. Well, as you can see in git ignore, they just added dot angular cache. That's great. Here, as you can see, it just packages update from 12 to 13. Nothing really to see here. In this src.polyfills file, it has removed everything related for Internet Explorer 11, again, making your project leaner and faster and better. And platform browser dynamic testing, destroy after each fall. So in Angular 13, Tests are much better and much more efficient now. So you can either make it true or false, depending on what you want. What they have added as a feature is that if your tests are dependent, your test would build from scratch. So if your test two is dependent on test one, well, it will run automatically once test one is complete and it will run from scratch as if it was a new application, making your test even more independent and more reliable. Well, as, as I said, if you want to learn more about that, go ahead and see this video all you need to know about angular v13 release and you will get to know everything there is to understand about this release thank you very much for watching i hope it helped you to update your project if i run ng serve this should successfully still run the project in v13 without any issues as i said today's video is going to be very simple so i hope it helped you to update to angular 13. in case you're wondering what is the next video in the next week well we have more things planned for you in the next week, we will do Angular project with Firebase. So I'm very excited for that. And I hope you are excited as well. And see you next time. Bye.